Now, I must go... Well, let me read first from this book concerning Thanksgiving Day and going right back to the beginning of when it started, brethren, by the pilgrims. By the pilgrims in those first two decades of the 16th century when it first began. This is by Wadsworth, a very well-known writer. Anybody that has studied English literature will be familiar with the name Wadsworth. In part, this is what he writes. When the New England colonies were first planted, the settlers endured many privations and difficulties. Being piously disposed, they laid their distresses before God in frequent days of fasting and prayer. Constant meditation on such topics kept their minds gloomy and discontented and made them disposed even to return to their fatherland with all of its persecutions. At length, when it was again proposed to appoint a day of fasting and prayer, a plain common sense old colonist rose in the meeting and remarked that he thought they had brooded long enough over their misfortunes and that it seemed high time they should consider some of their mercies. That the colony was growing strong, the fields increasing in harvest, the rivers full of fish, and the woods of game. The air sweet, the climate salubrious, their wives obedient, and their children dutiful. And above all, that they possessed what they came for, full civil and religious liberty. And therefore, on the whole, he would amend their resolution for a fast and propose in its stead a day of thanksgiving. His advice was taken, and from that day to this, whatever may have been the disastrous experience of New England, the old stock of the Puritans have ever found enough of good in their cup to warrant them in appointing this great annual festival. That, brethren, is how the Puritans, the religious people of the time, in the first few decades of the 16th century, that is how they established the Thanksgiving Day in the United States. From, as you can see right there, from a religious festival, from a religious point of view, it was a religious festival to worship and to thank God on that day. Now, from the World Book Encyclopedia, 1942 edition, article entitled, Thanksgiving Day. Quote, Thanksgiving Day in the United States and Canada, a day set apart for the giving of thanks to God for the blessings of the year. Originally, it was a harvest Thanksgiving, and while the purpose has become less specific, the festival still takes place late in autumn after the crops have been gathered. Indeed, it is probable, probably an outgrowth of the harvest home celebrations in England. Such celebrations are of very ancient origin, being nearly universal among primitive peoples. Going on, from the World Book Encyclopedia, 1942 edition, the first Thanksgiving in the New World, however, was not merely a feast. There were prayers 
and sermons and songs of praise. And three days had gone by before the Indians returned to their forest and the colonists to their tasks. Does that tell you how those first, the very first one, and how those first Thanksgiving days were observed? They were observed as a religious festival. Quoting still from this World Book Encyclopedia, 1942 edition, In 1789, the Protestant Episcopal Church in America announced the first Thursday in November as a regular annual day for giving thanks. The Episcopal Church announced that it should be the first Thursday in November as a regular annual day for giving thanks. It was not until 1888, however, that the Roman Catholic Church formally recognized the day. So they didn't recognize it until 1888. Still going on from this encyclopedia? Throughout the country, but especially in New England, where the custom originated, the day is looked upon with great reverence. Great reverence. And they go on to say the Thanksgiving Giving Day in Canada, the Dominion too, has an annual Thanksgiving Day which is celebrated in much the same way with family reunions and religious services. When the corn crop was gathered in the fall of 1621, Governor Bradford decreed a day of thanksgiving. Now, from the book, and let me just give a comment here about encyclopedias that I forgot to give earlier. Encyclopedias can be fine to a point. But you've got to be careful with them. Because some encyclopedias, depending on the edition, will give a much fuller article on the topic than another edition. Some of the old, I had a very old edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica. And some of the articles in there on certain subjects were pages long. Pages long very detailed. Then you looked at a more modern one and there was maybe half a page on the subject. So you have to be careful with encyclopedias depending on the writer of that particular article for that edition of the encyclopedia, depending upon his views, his biases, depending on how much he's going to write, you may not get the whole story. It can be and probably is more advisable to go to whole books that have been written on the subject where somebody has really delved into it, he's maybe done it for his PhD so he's really researched and you know left no stone unturned and he writes a whole book on the subject those are some of the best sources to go to so from a book called Special Days History Folklore and Whatnot by Sharon Cade, 1984. Quote, Fourth Thursday in November, observed the second Monday in October in Canada. Thanksgiving is a day to give thanks for the harvest and for the other blessings of the past year. Governor Bradford of Plymouth Colony ordered the day for feasting and thanks. Now, notice this, notice this carefully, although we have nationalized thanksgiving, celebrations were held in ancient times to give thanks for bountiful harvests. The Greeks honored Demeter, the goddess of agriculture. 
with a nine days celebration, the Romans undid Ceres. Anglo-Saxons rejoiced with a feast to celebrate the reaping of the harvest. And the Jews have given thanks for bountiful harvests with their eight-day feast of tabernacles. Thanksgiving is a sports holiday. It is a religious holiday. Welcomes the Christmas season. As well as a civic holiday. Most offices and shops are closed. Uh, did you see what the, the writer said? It is a religious holiday. It welcomes the Christmas season as well as a civic holiday. Now, from the book, we gather together the story of Thanksgiving by Ralph and Adeline Linton, 1948. Quote, Thanksgiving is a giving of thanks for divine bounty coupled with a particular demonstration of that bounty. Churches of all denominations are open for services on this particular Thursday every year. Quite as important as worship on this day is the renewal of family ties. Pilgrims and Indians, turkey and pumpkin pie are so much a part of the American tradition that it is hard for us to realize that the beginnings of thanksgiving go back not only to the old world, but to the early world. Continuing, the pilgrims frowned on all the holidays of merry England and refused to celebrate, lost my place here, refused to celebrate even Christmas because they knew of its pagan origins. In proclaiming a day of thanksgiving, after the crops were gathered and before winter set in, they may have taken a hint from the Old Testament, but they certainly did not know that they were acting in a tradition which went back to the time when men first began to sow and reap. Long before the dwellers, the dwellers by the Nile learned to measure the year, or dream of building pyramids, all people who grew grain gave thanks at harvest time to the beings who had given them their daily bread for the hard winter months. Moreover, these ancient farmers sensed in the changing seasons and in the cycle of seed to plant to seed again the miracle of death and resurrection and turned their wonder at its legend. The writer of this book does go on to say, The Old Testament includes many references to harvest festivals. It is recorded that Moses gave instructions to the Hebrews for the celebration of their harvest festival, which was called the Feast of Tabernacles. Yes, brethren, God does have a harvest festival. And that's important to get into our mind clearly that God has a harvest festival, but He has already told us in His Word, which is truth, what that harvest festival is. It is the Feast of Tabernacles. It is indeed, that festival is indeed, as this writer knew, God's harvest festival. He goes on to say, or he or she goes on to say, even before biblical times, the ancient people of the Mediterranean basin held festivals at harvest time in honor of the Earth Mother, the goddess of the corn, uh, was always one of the most important deities in the hierarchy of the gods, and her child was the young god of vegetation. The ancient Semites called the Earth Mother Astarte, Easter. The Perigians called her Semil. The Minoas had an earth mother for each district. All these local deities were absorbed by the Greeks into one great goddess, Demeter.